Hi everyone. So this is footage from uh, 1964 American Bandstand where uh, they're rating a couple of Beatles songs and there's also uh, Dick Clark is asking who's going to last longer, the Monkees or the Beatles? And then it goes to 1967 and uh, the teenagers at American Bandstand are watching the Beatles video for Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane for the very first time and, you know, giving their reactions to the new songs and, uh, of course, their new image. So this will be fun. Here we go. Oh, and also, uh, and I'd never heard of this before uh, until re recently, there was a band called the American Beatles, <laughs> you know, trying to cash in, of course, on the Beatles. So they're interviewed also. So here we go. Name and age, please. Linda Brain 16. Linda? Mm -hmm. All right, Linda, if you'll inscribe the names up here, we'll find out who your panel is going to be today. May I have your name and age, please? Frank Alverdi, 16. Thank you, Frank. Karen Warner, 15. Famous Hook, 16. This is the latest release. Panel, we'd like to know which side you prefer. This is the side... Uh, uh, the title of the latest motion picture, the thing by the Beatles called A Hard Day's Night. I've heard of them. Well, that's one side. It's called A Hard Day's Night. Now, Linda, you come close here. We'll, we'll get your impression. We're not going to take a rating this time. We're going to play both sides. What did you think of it? Well, it had a real good beat, and I think the kids would really enjoy it. I think it'll go pretty far. It has a really good beat, and you can dance to it. All right, now, hold on. Let's, let's see what our panel thinks. Now, I don't want a rating yet, panel. Just listen to this side, and we'll listen to the other side, and then we'll pick which side will become popular, har, 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 if you can. Frank, what'd you think? Well, it was different from most of the stuff they've done so far. Uh... <laughs> uh, and, and believe it or not, in, in later years, they're going to be doing uh, much more different stuff, like uh, Revolution 9 <laughs> and Helter Skelter. Uh, I think it's better than most of the stuff, actually. All right, Karen, do you agree, disagree? Is there anybody going to put the record down today? Well, I agree. I think it's great. I love everything they do, but it, it does seem a little different from what they have put out before. And, I <laughs> and you know, that's the Beatles, right? They, even back in 1964, the, these kids are saying, oh, it sounds different than what they were, they were doing before because, you know, they were changing even back then. I think it'll sell. All right, Famous, do you agree or disagree? Well, I agree. I think it's very good, and uh, the dance beat was better than what it usually is, and I think a lot of people could dance to it. All right, now that's one side. Listen to this other side, and then... And uh, as always, please remember to like the video and leave a comment below, and subscribe. I appreciate it. And tell me which one will become popular, if either, and I think you can pretty well rest assured one side will. This is the side that's called, I Should Have Known Better. Linda, we're going to make you a participating panelist today because we're not going to take an average. Uh, what did you think of this record? Well, I liked it. <laughs> I like them anyway, but this one didn't strike me as much as the other one did. The other yeah, be between A Hard Day's Night and I Should Have Known Better. I mean, I love, of course, both songs, but A Hard Day's Night is, I like more than I Should Have Known Better. I like the other side better? All right. Well, let's see if the panel agrees with you or not. Oh, we might as well start here, Frank. We'll run right down. Uh, I agree with her, too, that the other one was a lot better. It was different from what they usually do. And I guess what you'd say with the Beatles is don't overstay your welcome. <laughs> I love that comment. Don't overstay your welcome. Remember that, Beatles. I don't think they've overstayed their welcome because they're still love today. No. <laughs> you hear a lot of them these days. All right, Karen, what's your impression? Well, I did like the other one better. This one sounds too much like everything else they've put out, and Hard Day's Night was a little different. Do you notice that you hear a lot of Beatles music? I always hear it. It's constantly on both stations, on every, everything I turn on. Every and I do disagree. Even back in 1964, all of their, you know, for the most part, all of their songs sounded different, you know? Five minutes. Well, see, out, out here we have two stations that play them. In other towns, there may be three, there may be only one. Do you ever tire of hearing so much of it? No. All right, fair enough. Famous, how about you? What did you think of this record? You vote for side number one then, eh? Right? 
Well, I like a hard day's nights too much better than I did the other because the one that we just heard was too monotonous. It's just like the ones they do all the time, it's over and over again, the same lyrics, the same everything. <laughs> the same so lyrics. you vote for side number one? Yeah. All right, fair enough. Our panel here says the number one side, the side that will become the hit, is a thing called A Hard Day's Night by The Beatles. <laughs> And thank you, good people, very, very much. Okay, so this is, um, let's see here. Oh, yeah, this is the American Beatles. <laughs> all right, Ringo, if you'll come down from up top there. <laughs> I, should, I should, first of all, find out the primary question. Is this? So uh, they were all, they were a, di a different named band, right? But then when the Beatles became really popular their manager you know talked them into changing their name to the american beatles your own all of your regular type hair yes we're growing it yes it <laughs> isn't a wig then may i have your first names and i i love you know when you really look back especially especially the beatles on the ed sullivan show their hair wasn't even that long you know and but but back then in 1964, that look that's looks like oh that hair is so long, they look like girls. Wait until 1967 or 68. Please, Dave, Dave, Tom, Don, Vic, Dave. Bill, Bill. You know, I, let's move out here a little bit, fellas. We'll be a little bit more in the light. You are doing, uh, I guess, what a lot of people would like to do: let their hair grow long and play the Beatles stuff and so forth. How does this strike you? Do, do and one of one of the members later on i think it was probably in the 90s he was interviewed and sadly one i'm not, I'm not sure which member but one of the members just like the beatles was uh was murdered yeah did you ever meet these fellas we met him in miami what happened? Did you have an all-out war, or did they receive you? Well, were you going to see them, or vice versa? No, they were coming to see us. We were playing a club in uh, Miami, and they came in. What was their reaction to seeing you? Well, it was very... Uh, were they friendly? Yes, yeah. they were. In fact, uh, they, they Ringo and uh, Paul had got up to dance to our music, and it, it made us feel rather, you know... The, the Beatles were dancing to right. the Beatles' music? And, uh, how, lo how long has this been going on? How long have you had the long hair? Uh, well, we've only had the long hair about four months now, <laughs> but uh, we started it about six months ago as more or less a joke thing, and it turned out very well. How long does it take for hair to get to this length? Approximately four or five months. Do you have any difficulty in keeping it that way? <laughs> no, we just let it hang. What, 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 ha what happens when you... Now, you have real straight hair. What, is it just... just and, and really, when you look at Dick Clark, his hair's not much shorter than their hair <laughs> Oop that way normally you set it or anything <laughs> no uh, but i have nightly pinups so <laughs> once in a while what happens when you walk into a restaurant do people turn around and look they usually just laugh do, do they uh, do they have any remarks to me well usually the older people make the remarks you know but it doesn't affect us really we just let it go. As the American Beatles now, I would imagine this has caused you to uh, travel a good deal, has it not? Uh, yes. In fact, we're going to uh, South America July 4th for 11 weeks. Should be very exciting. Gentlemen, this is your first trip to American Bandstand. There's a curved table over there. Tell you what, why don't you lay the guitars back on the platform? We'll join you at the autograph table, okay? Right. The American Beatles, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you very, very much. So, question of the day. So, this is another clip. Oh, this is uh, the monkeys versus the Beatles, and I love the monkeys, but not as much as the Beatles. Will the monkeys outlast the Beatles? Who'll be around longer? Give me your impression, all right? Will the monkeys outlast the Beatles? If you want to go on with it a little bit, fine. Have your name and age. My name is John Pollard, and I'm 18. And the the Beatles have already had a three-year head start, and I still think they'll outlast the monkeys. All right. So about 16. No, I don't think they will. All right. So I guess, so in 1970, the monkeys were still together, right? Maybe let me know, or at least three of them. Um, so in a way, they did outlast the Beatles, I believe. Let me know if I'm wrong. I know, I know somebody will. <laughs> and 17 are the Beatles. 
A Martha Vella 15. I think the Beatles will last. Okay. Frank Givergilio 16. The Beatles will outlast them. All right. Judy kind of guy, the Beatles. Right, thank you. Maureen Cohen, 15. I think the Beatles will outlast them. Justine, 16. The Beatles will outlast. Karen White, 15. The Beatles will outlast. Steve Vodrick, 16. The Beatles will outlast. Ronnie Manneker, 17. And I'll say the Monkees. Ah. Fair enough. We, There's uh, always one. I would say offhand the Beatles won that particular survey. Do you agree or disagree? In any case, you'll see the difference in the Beatles one week from today on American Bandstand when they'll be performing Strawberry Fields Forever in Penny Lane. And uh, I think you'll notice something new with them, the fact that they don't work together quite as regularly as they used to. They do record. And uh, we hope you'll be here one week from today for the Beatles' debut on American Bandstand, their first, first visit to us, okay? Direct from England. It's going to be interesting. We'll be back on American Bandstand right after this word. The Beatles have kept... So this is... Uh, they're playing the videos for Strawberry Fields Forever and Penny Lane. Of course, I can't play the music or anything, but I'm sure most of you are familiar with the videos. And this is the teenagers' reactions to the Beatles. Pretty much to themselves in the last seven or eight months. They haven't released many single recordings. There have been thousands of rumors about their breakup. They'd say they're not going to tour anymore. They're not going to travel around. Would you pay to see them in person if they came to your town? I wouldn't it pay be? if they came to my town. I mean, you know, I don't like the Beatles. <laughs> Let us take you now to England, if I may. I don't like the Beatles. And a very, very interesting and different looking Beatles with strawberry fields forever. And there's the end of the video without the music, of course. I know we'll, we'll just keep looking at this for a second. And <clears throat> I want them probably on my other channel, Canadian Stub Muffin. But I, I kind of think strawberry fields forever. You know, it came out before Sgt. Pepper. That was kind of where music changed, like, in a, like a, in a big way. It's, it's kind of hard to explain right now, but I do want to do a video on it. Uh, I mean, Tomorrow Never Knows from Revolver was, you know, a big shock or quite a big change. But Strawberry Fields Forever, I think, is, I don't know. I'll, I'll do a video, like I said. <laughs> then I want to get your impression of what you've just seen. As they slowly fade away. And I, I remember seeing, you know, the videos for the first time. And it was such a change, you know, with their mustaches and everything. But I loved it. You know, I thought they, they all look cool and everything. What would you think of that? That is great. <laughs> and I love the songs, of course. What did you think? I don't like their hair. <laughs> their mustache. They didn't dig the mustache of them. What, did, what was your comment? I don't know. They, look, they looked older and it ruins their image, really. <laughs> mm -hmm. How did you feel? That was funny. And you? I liked it. They're ugly. <laughs> oh, their mustaches were weird. <laughs> Come on back here. I think they went out with a twist. <laughs> went out with a twist. Uh, oh, how wrong he was. Look like grandfathers or something. Shit, man. Look like somebody's grandfather. But it looked okay. Look good. Oh, Interesting. <laughs> All righty. And I did a short on this on my other channel, Canadian Stub Muffin. And somebody commented, I don't think Dick Clark liked the Beatles, but I don't know. I, I don't get that impression. From, from him, from these videos. Let's go on now, back once again to England. A different look again, the Beatles. There's the end of Penny Lane. <laughs> she looks a little shocked, I think. What do you think? It was different. Pardon? It was different. Yes, it was. It was very different. And you? <laughs> it was uh, a little brighter on the brighter side. Uh-huh. <laughs> Sir? They smiled, at least. I thought it was weird. <laughs> weird. <laughs> Wait until you hear Revolution 9. They're okay. 
reminded me of Hollywood about a hundred years ago. Mm-hmm. What was your comment? It was all right. All right. They're as bad as the monkeys. Ooh. I don't like that guy. They just look different than they used to. Yeah, that's pretty safe to say. <laughs> Did I speak to you? No. What was your impression? I thought they looked good. It was a change. Change? They have a right to look any way they want. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Mick Jagger. All right. Mick Jagger. How about the... Uh, let's, let's take our camera down in this row. I'm going to have to reach real long. The young lady here, the, the short hair. They just look entirely different. What do you think of it? Oh, uh, these are all right. <laughs> Not much of a change. <laughs> Not much of a change. Yeah. So that's it. Uh, just kind of fascinating, you know. And you have to wonder, the, these teenagers, a couple of years later, if they kind of got used to the Beatles and liked them or whatever. But, yeah, it's always fun to look back. The older you get, trust me. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Please remember to leave a comment below. I really appreciate it. Bye.